In today's video, brought to you by Maven Asset Management, we're going to continue our exploration of Maximo Health. We're going to look in more detail in the scoring areas of Maximo Health and how meters are used to determine a health score. So as a reminder, when we think of Maximo Health, there's many questions that we focus on. And specifically today, we're going to look at how do we measure the health of our assets. Well, that is done with scoring, and scoring is made up of three main, three main areas, groups, score types, and contributors. And today, again, we're looking at contributors. Contributors in Maximo Health are made up of two types. First is a meter, second is a formula. And again, today we're going to look at how we can have a meter reading be used to impact the score of our assets. So let's head on over to Maximo and take a look at the functionality. We're going to start our demonstration today in Maximo Manage, and I've brought up the asset application and specifically the query that we had set up earlier as our scoring group. When I bring up my query, I have my 13 records and I can open up my first record, but what I want to highlight specifically is on the meter tab. In this case, I have three different meters set up, temperature, pressure, and vibration. And I can bring in those meter readings, but what's really important is this tight tie-in between Maximo, Manage, and Health. Because we use meters to monitor the status of our assets, we can also use those to help us give an exact number of the health of our assets. And, that we're, and that's what we're going to do today. But before I leave Maximo, I also want to highlight condition monitoring. In this particular case, for some of the assets in my query, I do have condition monitoring points set up. So for example, when we look at the pressure one down here and scroll down, I can see my upper and lower warning and action limits and also the relation to a job plan. Why is this important? Well, Maximo Health can pull on this condition monitoring point. So we wanna take advantage of that, bringing in the two products as closely as possible. So let's now head on over to health and we're gonna access our scoring aspect to set up this individual score. Okay, my page is loaded in health and you can see that I am in health up here on the top left-hand side of my toolbar, but I wanna access scoring. When I open up scoring, I see it's three components, groups, score types, and contributors. When you open up your contributors, you're just gonna see a large number of cards there are some contributors that are developed out of the box, but I've also added some here. And I'm gonna scroll down and let's start by looking at a meter one. And let's open up this one down here. And I can tell it's a meter because it tells me right there in that card description. As it, I open up by my vibration contributor, I can see my name, a description. Very importantly, is this associated to an asset or an object? And then in the center here, I have the details of my meter. Again, this is defined in Maximo and I brought that in. It's a gauge meter and it's measured in um, inches per second, I believe that is. And then over here, I've set my upper and lower limits. This is also a really important point to highlight over here. And it's asking me if I want to use my condition monitoring points that I've set up in Maximo. In this case, I wanna make sure I do say yes, because if I ever change them in Maximo over time, then health will automatically pull on those values. So super nice, really easy to create and connect these two products. So coming back here to scoring, let's go ahead and let's create a new one. Now I could start, especially if I'm doing a number of these by duplicating an existing one, but let's go ahead and say this is the first time we're doing one. So let's make it a pressure meter uh, reading, whatever you might wanna call um, this pressure meter reading. And I'm gonna say for my P1 line assets, you don't have to do this. I'm just kind of highlighting this for our demo that we're actually doing today. Um, what is this, an asset or location? It's definitely an asset, it is a meter. Now it's gonna say, okay, what kind of meter is it? So I wanna go ahead and I wanna search and I'm gonna bring up my pressure and I just have this general one. I go ahead and apply this. So it's bringing that in. It automatically develops my formula to use that pressure meeting. It's bringing in the default unit of measure from Maximo. 
It also, this is really nice, but we'll talk about that in the next video if you want to learn more about formulas, but we're not working with formulas, so I'll stay away from that right now. But what are my upper and lower limits? Um, I actually want to be in the range of 30 to 10. Perfect. And now again, this is where I want to toggle that on button. I do want to use my condition monitoring limits when available. So I'll go ahead and create that. And it says my contributors created, and here he is down here. Super easy to create that. Again, I've brought in a meter reading for pressure, brought it in on the asset object, and had it connected to go ahead and use my condition monitoring limits when available. Thank you very much for your time.